Minister, this is a lousy bill. We all know the tough decisions have to be made and we all know that the deficit has to be closed. And that's not why this is a lousy bill. It's a lousy bill because it doesn't represent tough decisions. In January of last year, Anglo-Irish Bank had a senior unguaranteed bond come due for 1.25 billion euro. That bond was bought in 2007. And under all the rules that bond was bought under, rules fully understood by the people who bought it, no more than a few hundred million euro should have been paid out. But instead, this government paid out 1.25 billion plus profits. Now asking that group of people to contribute to the deficit reduction of this country would have been a tough decision, would have been a, a leadership decision. Even finding out who owned the bond would have been useful because it was probably bought in the secondary markets for a fraction of the price. Now that would have been leadership, but that's not what happened. What happened instead was this bill to, shut, to close the deficit, targeting pensioners, pregnant women, the grieving and the young. And ministers, you know this bill will bring in about 100 million euro to the Exchequer next year. So 13 years of the cuts that this bill is going to bring in, 13 years of those cuts will pay for one Anglo-Irish bank bond that was paid last year. That's what's happening in this country and that's why this is a lousy bill. But it's not just a lousy bill, it's a dangerous bill and it's dangerous because it is discriminatory. Now regardless of what any of us think about the need for training or the lack of motivation for people to train, this bill discriminates, on people, discriminates against people based on their age. The Minister, the Equal Status Act of 2000 states the following. Discrimination shall be taken to occur where a person is treated less favourably than another person is, has been or would be treated on a variety of grounds, including gender, race, sexual orientation and age. This bill discriminates against Irish citizens based on age. Now, about 180,000 young people have emigrated since 2008, and the vast majority of them, 84% of them, say they are leaving to find work. And for those who stay, we have an unemployment rate of 28%. And that 28% doesn't include anyone who works for even just one hour a week. So God only knows what the real rate of unemployment is, if you include people who are doing a Friday night in the local pizzeria. Now, the logic that I have heard from you, Minister, from your Cabinet colleagues, and from the government backbenches, is that this bill is being used because the young people in this country are not sufficiently motivated to take up a job or a training course. One minute remaining, Deputy. So we'll take their pocket money away. And sure, can't they just move home? But the latest analysis from the Vincentian Society estimates that the amount of money you need to live at home with your parents and lead a dignified life is 184 euro next year. Now, after this bill, they'll be left with just over half of that. So the only logic I can find in this bill is the following. Because we care for young people so much, what we're going to do is we're going to deprive them of the opportunity to lead a dignified existence. And maybe some combination of humiliation and desperation will get them up off their lazy, flat-screen TV watching backsides. What's the result? It's not more jobs. This bill isn't going to create jobs. The result is discrimination, emigration, and homelessness. And it's getting worse. According to the CSO, more young people are going to leave this country this year than since the start of the crisis. So the rate at which they are leaving the country is accelerating. The so-called tough decisions in this bill are being made because the real tough decisions the tough decisions that would have said to international anonymous foreign investors Thank you, Deputy. that they have to share the burden. Those decisions have not been made. This bill, Las Corla, in my opinion, represents the worst aspects of a weak, dysfunctional political system in this country. Come on, Thank you.